John chapter 8, Jesus was speaking to the crowds, and as He spoke, it says that many of the people believed in Jesus. Jesus told these people, if you continue in My word, you are My disciples indeed. Two words stand out here in Jesus' statement. The first is the word continue. This word means to abide, to remain, to dwell, to be present, or to keep continually. What is Jesus telling us? He's telling us that those who believe in Him must continue to believe in Him. In other words, believing in Jesus is not a one-time check the box. True faith in Christ is persevering faith. It's abiding faith. It's continuing faith. If we believe in Christ, then it means we continue to believe in Him. We intentionally dwell or remain in His teachings. We make Jesus' lifestyle and values our own lifestyle and values. The second key word that Jesus uses here is the word indeed. And this word indeed means truly or in reality. What is Jesus saying here? He's saying that true faith in Christ produces real disciples. In other words, we're not to be mere nominal believers, but rather our confession is to be confirmed and verified in our everyday experience. Jesus goes on to tell His hearers that those who do so will know the truth, and the truth, this truth, will make them free. Some people are fond of quoting only the second half of Jesus' statement, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. But this promise is conditioned upon what Jesus first tells us, if you continue in my word, then you are really my disciples. Only those who do this will know the truth and the truth will set those people free. In other words, Jesus is telling us that real freedom comes only through real discipleship. On its surface, this may seem like a contradiction. It's a paradox in that, on its surface, discipleship and freedom may seem like opposites to some degree, but in reality, they're not. The person who imagines himself to be free to do whatever he or she wants to do is actually not really free. Jesus says that person is essentially a prisoner to their own desires. They're a slave to their own sinful compulsions. Jesus says whoever sins is a slave of sin. It's only through real discipleship, through following Jesus and abiding in His teachings, that we can truly experience the real freedom that Jesus promises.